What's up, freaking world? Welcome back to another Stay Fresh production. My name is Justin Copeland, and on this channel, Stay Fresh Productions, we talk about all things fragrance related, whether it be top 10 lists, whether it be recommendations, whether it be critical topics like we're doing today. If you have interest in that kind of content, you're in the right place. You can join the Fresh Squad today simply by clicking that subscribe button and you are immediately 898% fresher than you were prior to clicking that button. You will feel it and others will smell it. Guarantee it and make sure you hit that like button if you do like this kind of content. It really does help with my visibility across YouTube. Thanks so much in advance. All right, today we're doing confessions. Today I am Usher. I'm seeing my confessions to you guys. I have three fragrance struggles that I wanna share with you. Now, the first thing I wanna say about all this, this is all relative. When I call them struggles, these are not really my life's biggest struggles. These are positively first world problems. <laughs> so take this lightly. These are not things that are keeping me up at night, all right? But in this world, in this microcosm of fragrance, these are things that I kind of wish I could change about myself. So we're gonna get right into it. Fragrance confession number one, the tactile and visual elements of a fragrance bottle affect how likely I am to reach for that fragrance. Even if I love a fragrance, if there's another one that just looks better to me, I'm probably gonna reach for that one. My eyes are the first filter, my hands are the second filter and the nose is the third filter. Obviously you have your olfactory memory, which could be a filter that kind of supersedes everything. But when I'm deciding what to wear in the morning, especially if I'm in a hurry, I'm kind of looking surface level. So in the summertime, I have two fragrances I might reach for here. I absolutely love Tommy for Men. Beautiful fragrance. But you look at the bottle and you pick up the bottle and it's like, yeah, I know it smells good, but it's not really moving me in terms of all of my senses at the moment. But when I pick up a bottle like this, Raja Parfums 1819 Burlington, this, <laughs> it's weighty, it is substantial. You look at this cap, I mean, the way it reflects light, it's like a diamond in the sky. This plaque on the front, I mean, my eyes are drawn to this, I pick it up, my hands are drawn to it. And the smell is also quite wonderful. These are both quite different, but they could still be worn again in the summertime. All I'm saying is that a lot of the times I'll go for what looks nice in my collection when I really should just go for what smells great, even though they both smell great here. But I think you get what I mean. Fragrance confession number two. I struggle to wear my decants. Bottles always take precedence over my decants. There are so many wonderful fragrances that I have decants of that I haven't really been able to give proper full wearings to simply because, again, I struggle to reach for them. I'm always reaching for my bottles. I got this whole bag of decants here. Most of these are actually coming from Decant X, whom I love. There's so many fragrances in here that I need to really give wearings to. And there is plenty in here, you know, five to 10 milliliters is plenty to have multiple full wearings of a fragrance. So there's no excuse here, but it kind of ties in maybe to confession number one, the visual, the tactile elements do play a role for me. So again, I'm trying to change that about myself. I will say that it's a lot easier for me to wear my decants when I'm traveling. A lot of you can probably relate to this. When I'm traveling, I don't want to bring bottles with me. That is a prime time to pack some decants of some fragrances I want to spend more time with. So I haven't been doing a ton of traveling. I've done a little bit. I'll have a little bit more coming up, but I don't want to just rely on that to wear these wonderful fragrances. So that's another thing I'd like to change or at least start changing. And fragrance confession number three. I know a lot of you can probably relate to this. I'm partially addicted to sniffing new things. If I don't have anything new coming in the mail for weeks at a time, I get kind of sad. And it's ridiculous because I have so much to smell. I have a lot that I haven't spent a lot of time with. I'm really trying to remind myself to use and enjoy what I already have. But that being said, I've recently got a few fragrances in the mail over the past two days, some yesterday and one today that I'm really excited about. I'm just gonna give you a quick little preview here. A fragrance that I just did a little preview kind of review on my Instagram page, but I will be talking about it probably at some point in the video. 
This is coming from Kajal. This is Kajal Pour Om 2. This is a beautiful unisex fragrance, I will say, not just for men. It has kind of this designer appeal to it. It's kind of easy to wear, kind of mass pleasing in a way, but it's great quality and it does have some beautiful elements that come together in a very pleasing way that has a little bit of uniqueness to it, but I'm enjoying this stuff. More to come. Another one, and I will be reviewing this. I'll be doing a full review on this fragrance because I talked about it months ago in a video. I have loved it ever since then. I think of the video was fragrances I guarantee you've never tried. And I'm pretty sure, again, a lot of you have never tried this one. But this is good stuff, man. Jet Black Reserve from Michael Malul, London. Probably not one of their most popular scents. There's something about this that just moves me. It's kind of a soft, airy, woody scent. It's kind of enigmatic, but it has a presence to it. It smells so good. More to come on that. Again, that is Jet Black Reserve. And this beautiful fragrance just came in the mail today. As you can see, I'm just feeding my addiction. This is not helping me. This is not beating the struggle, but we're here. Uh, there's nothing I can do. I am who I am, at least right now in this moment. And I'm just sharing with you what's going on. This came in the mail literally just not long ago at all. This is coming from a fragrance house called Neanderthal. Some of you probably heard of it. They're based in the UK. And this is a fragrance they call Vim. Beautiful bottle, very unique, very interesting. And a very interesting scent profile. Really beautiful though. Can't wait to talk about this one. More to come on that again fueling the addiction, but I will try to at least start to find peace when I don't receive things for a little while. I think I can work on that. I'll live, I'll be cool. So those are my fragrance confessions. What I would love to know is do you relate to any of these confessions and or do you have anything of your own, any struggles that you have, again, in this little micro world of fragrance that doesn't affect anything else, but we can choose to focus on it for a second. Is there anything that you struggle with that you wanna share in the comments? I would love to connect with you on this. Let's have a conversation about it. We don't always have to talk about what's amazing and what's going well. Sometimes we can talk about what is not so great, what we want to change, again, even as small as they can be. So would love to hear from you. Would love to have you as a part of the Fresh Squad, the freshest squad. Honestly, that is indisputable. And I want to thank you so much for tuning in. Peace. I'll see you in the next one.